So speaking of partnerships, so Mark, can you tell us a little bit how you partner with builders, what that process looks like, how you can help amplify their shopping experience and personalize it for the consumer? Yeah, yeah. So we, like our partnerships change start around our flagship product, which is our virtual staging solution. So as Chris mentioned, now a lot of home builders have inventory homes. You are selling those inventory homes along with the used homes in the market. Used homes are being sold with 25, 30 photos. They are all physically staged. They are presented beautifully. Now your homes come empty, right? And mm -hmm. probably they come with two, three photos. You don't have the same number of photos. So we streamlined the entire process to help you generate images and then we virtually stage them so they look like they are actually you know, physically staged or, or, or you can virtually stage them for different lifestyles. So you have the ability to even customize your, according to your audience. So all of that is, is our starting point in general. Yeah. And then from there, we can go into the, we are able to go into the design because uh, that's for the inventory homes, of course, yes. But, but how about, uh, as, as Chris mentioned, if you want to bring design into your sales process so that home buyer, when they are shopping for a home, they're actually shopping for a place that they are going to live in. So they need all the furniture, they need the finishes. So, so now with the images and with our solution, it's also possible to uh, create these visualizations that a home buyer can look at on your website. Yeah. When they are checking out a particular home, they can see images of that home that are furnished with different styles or furnished for a family or somebody working from home or, or, or a pet owner. We heard those a lot, mm -hmm. how emotional connection helps in selling homes, yep. right? So, so being able to help, help the home buyer visualize the home as a place that they will live in with yep. their own style, with their own preferences, therefore becomes very important. And that's exactly where we come in and we are able to do it very scalably and affordably because of the technology that we are offering. Well, and when we talk to consumers at John Burns, what we've heard over and over and over is that for about 70% of the consumers, it's not just about having shelter. There's a personal, very personal experience that comes along with it and all of the pieces of life that happen in those homes, whether you're there for a year and then you have to move again all of a sudden or you're there for decades. Memories happen there. There's an emotional attachment to the home, and that's why sometimes it's really hard for people to sell their homes, mm -hmm. because they're emotionally attached to their homes, and so trying to get them emotionally attached before they can physically be in there is a really important step to try to exp like expedite that, that visualization and them being able to see their lives happening there, right? Mm -hmm. And you can, help, you can help do that. Exactly. So at, if, if I was a builder, at what point do I need to bring the, bring you into the process? Like, are you in the design phase? Can we bring you in like when we're building models? Like at what point do you need to start integrating in for it to work seamlessly? So our technology is built upon images. Therefore, we come in generally when there are images available, right? But those images don't need to be the actual photos of the homes that, that you have built. If you have images coming from CAD files or renders, we are able to work with them as well. But our starting point is generally an image, and, and if it's the image of a real home, we can start from the drywall stage all the way mm -hmm. to completion, right? Uh, at whatever point uh, your teams are taking those photos, then we can come in, we can apply our technology, and we can create these customized, personalized uh, designs for the home buyers to take a look at. So if there's a builder out there right now and they're like, I'm not staging homes anymore, I'm done, like I'm, they throw their arms up, I'm out, yeah. right? Yeah. You can help them. You that's right, that's them. right. I mean, that's actually one of the most common use cases that we have. I mean, people don't want to have model homes anymore. They take, you know, they, they occupy yeah. part of your inventory, your space, and you stage, physically stage a model home but you don't know if that staging is going to actually appeal to your audience, yeah. right? You need to spend so much time figuring out whether you are picking the right furniture, right decor, right, right personality is being brought into the home. So with virtual staging, you can bypass all of that and mm -hmm. you can also collect data on what the consumer ultimately likes. Yeah. You can create different versions of the same home, virtual staged with different styles, and then ultimately check, okay, which of these photos were the ones that engaged my yeah. home buyers most? Uh, then that gives you ideas about uh, physical staging if you still want to do that later on as yeah. well. You have a good solid starting point now. But in, for a builder who's 
Maybe they want to start pre-selling before they're done. And you, maybe your ultimate goal is to have a couple model homes or multiple model homes. Mm -hmm. You can help get the consumer there faster or maybe they don't particularly love what you've chosen or they're re not resonating but they love your floor plans. You can help them. It can be an aid. It doesn't have to necessarily be a replacement, right? That's right. That's right. I mean, that's, uh, that is where AI especially becomes very helpful because um, AI comes with all these generative uh, tools, the tools that even the consumers can use. So, so AI can become a sale uh, enablement tool almost yeah. during that process. When, when those model homes aren't exactly there, you can use it to figure out in your discussions with the consumers. So many applications. I love <laughs> it. So Chris, you and I had a conversation around like adopting technology, and I know we had talked earlier about it. And I, we're showing a couple photos here of how you guys are using technology. Can you kind of explain what, what you've already adopted and how you've tied it into the buying process? Yeah, so one thing that's unique about Kehovnanian is that we are a large national home builder that up until about a year ago, we had 4,000 floor plans across 15 different wow. divisions, right? Ooh. And I was speaking to the David Weekly team earlier today too, and they said, you know, all this stuff is great, but it would be very difficult for us to scale this in what we do. So what we had recognized at Kehov Nanian is that we weren't building most of those floor plans, but yet we were maintaining them. So we've taken our huge library of homes and we've actually scaled it down to oh, just 200 homes throughout the entire country. Now, when you scale it down to 200 homes, obviously you say, well, how, how can you do that? How can you build a house in Phoenix or Northern California that's the same in Texas? The interior of the homes are the same. It's the exterior elevation that each division mm -hmm. is allowed to render that will fit their market, right? How we live, and I do get the opportunity to travel all around the country quite a bit. For the most part, our floor plans are very changeable from one place to the next. Yeah. They allow it to happen. So once we did that and we scaled back our plans, we then went through what we call the looks palette design. Mm -hmm. And so we have elements, which is our included feature. We have uh, classic, we have farmhouse, and we have loft. Yeah. Now, what's so interesting about this, and there's many people that are saying you need to have choice, 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 yeah. thousands of choices, big design centers. Um, I would challenge that all day long. And in 2006, there was a Harvard Business Review that said that you can actually have des uh, decision fatigue. You mm -hmm. can give too many options to buyers. And if you actually give them fewer selections, you will actually increase your option sales. Mm -hmm. So in Dallas-Fort Worth, um, our starting price is in the fours, but we go up over a million. So then the question was always, well, can you really sell a design package in a million dollar house? Well, not only are we doing it, but we're crushing it, and we're crushing our competition that sends mm -hmm. them to fancy design warehouses yeah. uh, where they don't have any clue what their price is. Yeah. So the design model with Kehovnani is that you actually can go online, you can go through the simple process, you can go to your community, you can go find your lot, you yeah. can find the floor plan you like, and you can literally build out your house. Now, what's interesting to this is, is you show up to the office, to the sales office, and it's happening truthfully, eight out of 10 times where a buyer will come to us and say, this is exactly what we want. Now, from a, from a VP of sales team, I'm like, this is fantastic mm -hmm. because it's saving so many processes, so many steps. And then what the sales team is doing from there is they're just confirming because what we're showing online, which is digital and it does have yeah. technology, but inside the actual model home, we can have the products themselves. So we build out vignettes inside of the garages. Yeah. Uh, and we do actually have material books that they can see, touch, and feel the material. So we're just confirming what we already know. Yeah. Now, with that, though, we have the design and price tool that they can go and they can price out every single thing. Yeah. They can run their mortgage payments. They can do you name it. They have the comfort of being able to just really come in and say, this is what we want. Similar to a car. Yeah. Uh, now, there are things, because it's fairly new. We use static images. Um, you know, something that we're doing, and, and this goes to those that think, oh my gosh, I need to do this for every single house. Well, if you look, the kitchens are all the same, yeah. right? It doesn't need to be. They're just paying attention to the actual colors and the palettes and what a farmhouse looks like to a classic looks like. It doesn't need to be every single floor plan you have yeah. because a buyer can still visualize. Yeah. Uh, and it has been an absolute game changer for us. And it has, in a market, Dallas-Fort Worth, we did 60,000 homes last year. It's known as being the easiest place to build a home, one of the toughest places to make money. But what we're proving is that with our design palette tools, we are actually able to increase our option selections by 20% over what they were doing at a design center because they are going to contract knowing exactly how much money they're going to spend. We have buyers that will actually choose a competitor of ours, go to the design center, come back and say, okay, that's costing us way more money than we thought it was going to, yeah. so we're coming back to you because we actually have uh, the trice 
the price transparency that we love. Price transparency. It's like Southwest Airlines does that, what is it, fair, fair and see or? Yeah. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> but I, tri price transparency, I think I've heard it every single day. Mm -hmm. Every single day this week I have heard that. And it, it's not only helping streamline the consumer's thought process, lowering their anxiety, it's also helping you. Mm -hmm. It's increasing your sales. Mm -hmm. I bet you that having those packages, or you get a better margin on them because you we, know what's absolutely. coming. Yeah. Right. And somebody actually threw out earlier that well, isn't it a challenge if you do packages that your suppliers are running out of the materials? Well, uh, actually not. Very, very rare. We did 800 homes last year. Very rarely did we ever have to make a substitution yeah. because every single option inside that home is chosen at contract. Yeah. You know, it takes us eight months to finish a home. So the minute that goes, all the POs are sent out and we know exactly what to hold on to. Yeah. The materials are reserved. Yeah. And the other thing that keeps coming back in my mind is from the executive forum on day one, um, the professor Eric from Brock University was talking about, you know, they might value this item at $30 and this item at $80, but if you price it at $100 as a package, you get a better deal for you, you get a higher margin for you, and the consumer gets what they want and more, right? Mm -hmm. And so it can help start to do that, but at the end of the day, the decision fatigue, I feel like there's so many options for consumers, and I can't think of anything on the planet that has more decisions to be made than a new home. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you can make it a little bit simpler, why wouldn't you do that? And all of our all of our looks selections are professionally chosen by very high end designers. I mean, we yeah. we spend a lot of money ensuring, like our cabinets that we put in the master baths are actually restoration hardware. Yeah. You know, to be able to tell a buyer, even at a four hundred thousand dollar home, that this is a restoration hardware vanity, mm -hmm. that's a big deal to them. Yeah, it but is. because we're buying it across the entire country at scale, the cost is fairly inexpensive compared to what it would be aftermarket. Yeah, if they would have tried to go and do that afterwards, yeah. you're able to aid them getting there faster, cheaper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um